All right, guys. So this is going to be a whole bunch of strobes. Did you hear that word? Strobes wired up to my panel. Well, now technically uh, four out of these, this one, this one, this one, and this one are all horn strobes, but only the strobes are enabled on them. So let's see what we have here. So of course we have my uh, Firelight MS4 four zone control panel. And let me take this off really quickly. Right here, I have the, sys, uh, the Simplex True Alert. I have the Amseco Mercom. And believe it or not, this is another Mercom I have, but I bought it and the strobe didn't work. So I bought one with the working strobes. This is my Mercom. System Sensor Strobe and Blue Gentex Commander 3, which is not really a true fire alarm equipment. What I mean by that is it's not intended for fire alarm use. For pulse stations, I have um, my Firelight BG-12L, Johnson Controls BG-10, Firelight BG-8, and my Agent Release Non BG-12LR, Notifier Agent Release. So, let's get to the test. So, let's pull this one first. Alright, let me put this back on here. Let's pull it. Three, two, one. And as you can see, these three strobes right here are all in sync. This one flashes really fast, and that one flashes very slow. So these three strobes right here, or these three uh, alarms are all in sync. So let's go ahead and reset this. Acknowledge. I don't really need to silence. There's nothing to silence. Reset. And of course, there's going to be some battery troubles that pop up on here because I don't have any batteries in the system trouble. All right, so now let's pull the Johnson Controls um, BG-10. So three, hold on. Three, two, one. So, yep. So let's go ahead and reset this one. Acknowledge. Warm silence. Sorry about that. And reset. So, um,. That's it for my second pulsation. So let's go to the BG-8. All right, so now let's pull the BG-8. In three, two, one. So I'll keep that on for a second. Let me turn a little bit of lights out. So, yep, let's go ahead and acknowledge, and like I said, there's really nothing to silence on here, and you see, like I forgot to mention, it's a zone 3 alarm. So, go ahead and reset the pull station, let's reset the system. So, as you might can hear, I have some family right now, so I'm trying to be real quick with this so I can spend some time with them. My mom's birthday is coming up, so that's why they're here. It's going to be my neighbor's backyard, because she has a pool in her backyard and stuff like that. But anyway, it's kind of off topic. So, let me mention real quick, um, this pull station is zone 1, this pull station is zone 2. This pull station right here is zone 3. This is zone 4. Um, I, I believe these three right here. Um, 1, 2, 
three on NAC one. I believe these two are on NAC two. Can't quite remember. So let's go straight to pulling the agent release one. Now I ordered some keys to go with it because even though it was new in box, it didn't come with keys. So I have to take a screwdriver and poke the back of it to reset it. So let's pull the agent release in three, two, one. So, yep. So let's go ahead and reset the agent release. Probably shouldn't poke it with the screwdriver, but I'm just gonna do that real quick. Reset. So let's go ahead and acknowledge this really quickly. All right, well, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to see more awesome videos. And I did consider putting it up on that bulletin board right there. But, um, yeah, I just decided not to. I just decided to do it right here because I figured it was easier. Well, again, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to see more awesome videos. Thanks and adios.